so if you have any fat bike cycle and you are looking to convert it into electric then this is a perfect kit for for fat bike because this comes with 350 watt sub motor so which is suitable for fat bike specially and you can see here in this kit we are getting 350 watt sub motor and you can see this is a throttle so with ignition key if you turn on this then only it will be on or else it won't get on and if you can see here this is a display which they are providing so this is a big display with usb charging port you can charge your mobile also even with this uh, charge usb port okay and uh, in this specially you are getting cruise mode and this is a main wire where you can attach all these sensor brakes and uh, throttle wires here one side and this goes to controller so this is a controller so it is suitable up to 20 amperes you can attach 10 amperes battery 15 amperes 20 amperes battery also and this is a controller and this comes with pedal assist so this is five level pedal assist where it will help to well cycling and this is comes with uh, light and horn so this is switches so both for light and horn they are providing the switches also and this brake these are sensor brakes so it will have a sensor wire so when you apply this brake it will auto cut off this brake and this is a battery they are providing so by default they are providing 10 amperes battery if you want to attach 15 amperes or 20 amperes you can attach to this so overall this is a conversion kit for fat bike specially so you can order this through oldtbike.in website so let's see how to assemble these parts so this can be done within five minutes so you can just follow my guidance so initially start with motor so you will have here a motor pins and here is a long wire so in controller so here you can see so this long wire has to go this to this motor wire so where you can see here there is an arrow mark on this and there is an arrow mark on this also so both you have to attach like this and just insert this like slightly so once if you have done insertion so this is this is done okay so another thing next to so next we are going to connect with to this main wire so here you can see this is a we call main wire so here you will have a controller box so here you have to attach so you can see there is a small hole here and one small bar in this so you have to attach according to this so if you attach like this so it will be attached that's it so this will be done and he, in the end you can attach this based on colors so if you can see red color so red color indicates for uh, this bag this brake sensors so all you have to do is there is a small hole here and there is a small bar here so you have to attach this according to this like this so the bar has to go to the small hole so here another color red color so based upon color size you can just insert like this so brake sensors done and we have now throttle so we can go with the throttle so throttle you can see here there is a black and there here is a black so based on colors we can attach like this so throttle also done and you can see this is a display where we have to attach like this green color and this is green color so simply if you are assemble like this so it is done and here this is light and horror so here two wires are there so you can see here two blue wires so one is sorry yellow wires one is downside and one is upper side so downside should be going for this light and horror so this is attached to light and horror and the switch comes to the upper side so in the middle here it is so this is a switch so switch comes upper side and light and horn should be on downside so that's it so you can see here very simply we have connected this all this wire connection and totally water resistance you can see there is no point of going water into this and totally done and all we have is two wires now so one is go to this pedal assist so you can see here so one we have attached to main wire one we have attached to motor and one is empty so this is goes to this pedal assist okay so this is done and only two wires left that is red and black wire so which goes to battery so i will show you that also so you can see here this is a 10 ampere battery by default they are providing so you can see here this red wire so i'm attaching red and red wire so once if you connected this red wires so all you have to do is apply some tape so that it both won't go in connection and this will just create some sparks okay like this once if you connect this like this all you have to do is insert this like this and there is a rubber in this you just connect so when these both come to contact they won't go attached and they won't create any sparks okay. so that's it done so once the assembling is done we, i will show you how to operate this so initially you will have an ignition key so if you turn on this it will show the battery indication here so just you have to all you have to do is here there is a power button so if you press on this power button it will show like this okay so just now if you accelerate it will move so you can see here i will just accelerating it is moving okay so this is how you can operate this is called throttle mode and there is a pedal assist mode so you can see here mode one so this is a pedal assist in one level so if you want to increase this level there is plus and minus buttons so if you press this press button it will change so now i have kept to five level so all i have to do is this is a pedal assist so if i rotate this 
see if i rotate this the motor has been running so this is how it will be helped while doing pedaling so this is called with pedal assist okay so you can increase this pedal assist up to five levels and you can decrease this to single level also so it is based upon the road while you are riding based on road you can adjust this okay and throttle mode is walking mode so if you press this minus button the motor will continuously go See, if you can if i press this minus button so the motor is continuously running at the creek four kilometer per hour continuously okay so like this it will move slowly okay so another mode is cruise mode so this cruise mode will help you to go continuously in a long highway so for example if i accelerate this so you can see here so this is a display so let me show you so if i accelerate this at a particular speed wherever i want at a particular speed i will hold this rotor for five seconds so you can see so i will hold this so you can see this symbol will occur here so it shows cruise mode so continuously running at 25 km per hour continuously for a long distance so if you want to uh, cut off this just press break so the cruise mode will be off okay so like this you can use so these are the four modes in this model and especially you can see in this display we have more features like so if i press this button once so it will show average uh, speed or average kilometers how much i am i have traveled and max speed how much i have traveled and time so the total time uh, for which time we have on this display so and this is a trip mode so every time we can calculate the distance how much we have been traveling okay so this is audio so total overall distance it will show you okay so here you can see the speed how much distance you have been traveling and here it is indicating that battery indication so the power it will show in bars okay so based on this you can just calculate that uh, mileage everything and this is how you can use this and these are the sensor brakes so which i have told you so if i press this brake and if i try to accelerate you can see the motor is not working there so if i lose this and then if i accelerate you can see that is moving so like this it will move okay and here this is these are the brakes Oh, sorry uh, light and horn switches so you can see this is a light so so this is light horn so both they are providing so this is a total kit which i have explained you so this you can get through worldwide.in website and battery capacity you can attach according to you so if you have to travel 35 kilometers you can go with uh, 7.5 amperes if you want to travel like uh, 50 kilometers go with 10 amperes if you want to travel more kilometers then you can go 15.6 amperes also so according to your distance you can choose this out okay so let me show you this is our final feature so you can see this is our favorite one so here we are providing a usb port so where we can charge our mobile so i will show you lively here this is our usb port so you can attach this like this to this usb port and you can just attach to your mobile so you can see so it is getting charged so like this you can attach this uh, to your uh, cycle and you can charge your mobile even while riding also so all these features are coming in a single kit so you can see here these features like 350 watt sub motor and a display with a cruise mode and you can see even mobile charging also coming with this so usb port and uh, everything comes in a single kit so if i ask you so this is the best kit we can have gone in india so for fat bike in the less price so you can order this kit in volt e bike website so it will get a home delivery and cash on delivery also available so thank you